Good morning crafters and stampers. Thank you for joining me today. So I have been looking for more ideas on how I can use my empty candle jars. I've been searching on YouTube for some ideas and I'm going to show you two candle jars that I recently finished and I'm also going to show you a process video for that. But for this one, my husband and I went to Greece for our anniversary a few weeks ago and when we were in Santorini if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen some photos already and when my husband and I were walking down by the beach he actually picked up some rocks and even sand for some reason because he was so fascinated by the black sand so I use one of my candle jars make it as a storage for the rocks that he picked up on the beach as well as the sand because he was so fascinated by the black sand so these four rocks represent my husband and I and our two children. That's why there's four. And then below that is the black sand. So that's one of the things that you can do for your empty candle jar. I guess if you go by the beach, your kids, your grandkids, or your husband and yourself can pick up a couple of mementos and things like that. And you can also use your candle jar as a memento holder. I just use my label maker and then I have the dates there. And then I looked at some tutorial from Nicola and I'm going to put her YouTube channel down below in her tutorial. And she made a nice fairy lantern with a tutorial for that. So I watched and followed a little bit of Nicola's tutorial. Her fairy lantern turned out really awesome. So I did mine with the tissue paper at first. And even though it's okay, I didn't really like how it looked. And it's not as cute as Nicola's fairy lantern. So I thought, no. And since I have the frosted paint and Mod Podge in my stash, I figured I'll try my own way of making a fairy lantern. So I decided not to use this because it was messy. It was tearing up. As you can see, I, I tried to like fix it there. It was messy and the tissue paper was so thin, it was difficult. And I did not like the result. So I decided to make my own by using a frosted paint. So this is the frosting paint that I use and I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's a low kernel brand. And I found this in the mason jar section of Hobby Lobby. So I did two coats of this frosting paint on my candle jars. Coats. I guess if you apply more coats, then you will have more of a frosted finish, but I only use two for mine. After the two coats of the frosted paint, I also applied Mod Podge on top of that. Two. And then I poured the glitter on top of the mason jar. And I really love how it turned out. It's not as messy as the tissue paper. I just didn't like it. I mean, it worked out for Nicola's tutorial because hers turned out really pretty, but I just didn't like the way I did mine. So I prefer this version, actually. So here are the dies that I use for my project. This is the carriage with the horse. And it's by Tattered Lace, and I got this from Joann's. And another Tattered Lace was this nice one, this little pixie. So here are the die cuts that I'm going to use today. This is the Tattered Lace Pixie. And then I used the grub for the grass here and the little mushroom. I used the Gleeful Gardens dies from Lawn Fawn. And she will be sitting on top of this little mushroom. I may have to cut the stem of this mushroom to make it look like she's sitting on it. And then I'm going to add these grass over here and this is the it's pretty dry now so I'm just going to use my Mod Podge and apply Mod Podge to the little pixie and then adhere her to my little bottle here like so and put Mod Podge over it. So as I was editing this video I accidentally deleted the footage on how I applied the sealer to seal the glitter outside of the jars but I'm really sorry about that but what I did was after I Mod Podge the images inside I applied a thin layer of Mod Podge outside and then I 
sprinkled glitter all over the jar. And then once it dried, I sprayed it with the acrylic sealer. And that's what I did to kind of seal the glitter on the jars so that it doesn't come off. So here are the two finished projects and I really love how it turned out. This one is using a recycled candle jar with the Cinderella carriage there in the horse. As you can and see it's pretty glittery, it's girly, and I really like it. And I love the flowers that I put on top here. There's more space on this one with the mouth being that wide, so I was able to do some nice arrangement of flowers on top. And this is the finish pixie with the little mushroom and the grass there and it looks like she's a captured fairy So this is the battery operated fairy lights that is available at Michael's and it's using three AA batteries and if, when you turn it on, so all you have to do is just put the lights. I actually prefer the tea light. I'm just, it's just my preference. I'm not sure why but I think it's just really my preference but this is how it looks like when it's lit. This one is using the little fairy lights and it's really bright. Not sure if you prefer that but it's very easy. All you have to do is just put this on your nightstand like that and this can be a perfect project for a girl's room like a nightlight and then this one is with the battery operated D light. I kind of like this because it flickers but I like how this one turned out too because it really does look like she's a captured fairy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you like this project, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate all of your comments and your thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next crafting project. Bye for now and have an amazing week.